This video was shot on my Fuji X-T4 when I was on a trip to Wales and it's of a very beautiful waterfall. However, it was taken in the late afternoon on a cloudy day with a bit of sunshine and I've passed it through a damped normalizer. So the absolute maximum amount of contrast that can be gotten into this video has been. The normalizer makes it flicker a bit because the light coming off the waterfall varies in intensity, but normalizing it in this way is a great way of starting with maximum, mo maximum possible contrast. But it doesn't look that contrasty. It doesn't really remind me of what standing there and watching the waterfall looked like. And this is a real problem with HDR. So this was shot in F-Log and moved to HDR because we expect HDR to be very impactful, but this video just isn't. It looks a bit drab. So what can we do about it? We can't boost the contrast anymore because the blacks will go too black or the whites will clip out. So the answer really is to look, look at the waveform that shows that the peaks are constantly hitting the maximum level. You can't really see the darts because of the way I've rendered the waveform, but they're almost at the minimum level. But the human eye doesn't really look at the contrast of an entire image in, uh, in my experience. We tend to uh, experience contrast in terms of the difference between different, as different parts of the image. That's local contrast. And that's what dodging and burning does, uh, often used in landscape photography or using really good lighting in a studio. So how can we do a similar local contrast enhancement in video? So the secret to all of this is going to be local contrast enhancement. Now, in many packages, this can be done via something called clarity. That will vary from package to package and exactly what it does is a bit of a dark art. However, uh, I do everything using scripts, using a free tool called FFmpeg and have to do the mathematics myself to a large extent, which allows me to show you the steps involved. Counterintuitively, the first step is actually to reduce the contrast in the video, because if I'm going to boost the local contrast, I don't want to boost it up and start clipping or crushing. So I pass it through a set or well, a simple curve which brings down those highlights a little bit and brings up the shadows a little bit without actually getting rid of black altogether. And we get something that looks a lot like the video which is showing now. And if we look at the waveform of this video, we can see that, as I say, the highlights are brought down and everything's moved into the middle a little bit, which actually can look nicer, but it's uh, a lot less HDR still. It looks flatter and less interesting and less entertaining. So what can we do as the next step to bring the effect in? And that is again, somewhat counterintuitive. What we do is blur the image enormously. In this case, I've used a Gaussian blur with a radius of 512 pixels. So on 4K, that radius represents about quarter of the vertical height of the frame altogether. And the resulting image just shows some areas which are light and some areas that are dark. Now the trick then is to actually take this video, which is just the light and dark areas, and subtract it from the original video. So this means that the light areas will become less light and the dark areas will become brighter. But where you have a transition from light to dark, you will see boosting. So something which is in the video light right next to a dark area will have its lightness boosted by the dark area blurring into the light area. And this is what we can see here. This is, oh, this is just the local contrast enhanced version, which I've brightened up a great deal. And this is, looks a bit ridiculous. It looks a little bit like moonlight, but uh, that's not a problem because we don't keep that. That's just something which we add a little bit of, or in this case, I'm gonna add quite a bit to really make the effect startling, but probably too much for good taste. But we mix that with the original, so we end up bringing down the 
waterfall center a bit but the waterfall edges get brighter and we boost up the dark areas quite a bit so they suddenly look brighter but we don't lose the blacks and we don't crush out the whites and the consequence is that it looks quite a bit more like the original as it felt to me while I was there but this looks uh, far too contrasty now and still a bit dull but we've got something much more interesting to work with. So the final step, which I did to the video to get it to look like this, was to change the curve one more time to uh, bring up the shadows a bit and to roll off the highlights a little bit. So this is a straight gamma upward gamma curve and to do a similar curve to all of the colors. So in that case, saturated colors tend to look a little bit more saturated. And the result of this is something that kind of looks like we might expect HDR to look like. And just look at the river ahead of the waterfall. Now, even though we haven't added anything to this video, we've just processed it, we can see right through the water and see the bed of the stream or the river and the colours there and the colours of the tree on the left hand side pop out. But we haven't blown out the waterfall in the centre. In fact, that looks less dominating of the whole image because it's a little bit darker. But those wonderful pieces of foam on the water at the back underneath the waterfall pop right out. So overall, the image has a very different uh, composition. It has a very different impact and we can see a lot more detail in it. And it reminds me a lot more of having been there. As I say, this might be a little bit overdone, but it's a demo and I hope it was useful and I'll catch you next time.